My name is Sulo King, and I'm here at the Boxing Club. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I love working out here, why I chose this place, and a little bit about how I got into fitness. I just finished out uh, a workout of about 90 minutes. Um, for all I know, probably two hours. You lose track of time when you're here, but this place is like family and I love it. And I'd love to bring you guys down here to check it out. So I have free passes. So if you want to come work out with me or try it out on your own, let me know. Just drop my name. Oh, I know this song. I booked this band back in the day <laughs> when they first started out. And this song put them on the map. Hey, it's Sulo, and I'm here today with yet another video to talk about how I got into health and fitness um, and why I chose to work out at the boxing club and stay with the boxing club. So basically, it all started in 2012 when I bought my recording studio business and opened it up. I knew I was going to have to sit in an office chair and go back to that kind of lifestyle, but... You know, I'm a little older and wiser, and I didn't want to feel lethargic and lazy and out of shape anymore. Um, I already cut back on the drinking and the partying and that whole club lifestyle, rock and roll bullshit that I was accustomed to was already behind me. I knew opening it up um, my first commercial business where I'd have to actually rent a retail space, or sorry, uh, commercial space on my own was going to be challenging and if I made a mistake it would reflect directly on me and I couldn't afford to sit there and just you know be lazy and and slack on things it's one thing working for somebody else but when you are the boss you know if you don't work and you slack you know you're not gonna make any money and you're gonna run yourself right into the ground and your business into the ground and I was not about to let that happen uh, so basically uh, one of my clients turned me on to a gym called jumpstart fitness and a team me up with a, a great you know weight trainer and fitness trainer named Wade and I worked out with him on and off uh, up until about I'd say 2014, 2015, and one of my roommates at the time in my house was a former amateur boxer and turned me on to a place called the Boxing Club, uh, which is just right down the street from where I live in Costa Verde across the street from UTC. So I walked in there one day just out of curiosity and sat down with our general manager, Ricky. And I just felt right at home, and I felt a great, uh, you know, a, a great energy, a, a great presence about the place. It just had that family, you know, like chill, relaxing vibe. I just felt like I was at home. It's hard to really describe until you walk into the place, and either you feel it or you don't. Um, anyways, I, I I knew I made the right decision, and I really wanted to get into boxing training. So at that time, I was still weight training and working out with a boxing trainer named Calvin. Now, Calvin was very old school. His father was a boxer. Boxing was in his blood. 
he was like an old spirit and uh, had a very traditional old school method of training, which was very cardio based. Um, you know, it's apples and oranges really comparing the two trainers um, with the trainer I have now. Uh, my current trainer, Kane, is an ex-professional skateboarder and he was an a MMA fighter for quite a long time. I think he really primarily fought in Muay Thai, um, but anyways, he's teaching me kickboxing along with boxing and also making sure that I, I'm, you know, lifting weights and, you know, keeping a good eye on me at the same time. Um, and I'm also a member. I have a monthly membership there that's good for the group classes or I can come and go as I please and, you know, use the facility whenever, I, you know, they're open. So basically, um, I train with Kane every once in a while, and I like to go in there and do different routines. What I'm doing differently now is I dropped all the weight lifting, bodybuilding, you know, bullshit. It just wasn't for me. I mean, I didn't really feel comfortable and like who I was becoming. Um, I was uh, getting bulky. I still had a gut. You know, I was, I was sluggish on stage, and as a singer, I have to be lean and mean and fast. And as strong as I was, that was great, but I just, it didn't feel right. So, long story short, I decided to drop the weightlifting and get into more, like, cross-training. Uh, lighter weights, more repetitions, and more cardio-based exercising. I've always been pretty good with my supplement intake, which is all natural-based. And I'll have another video going over that. Uh, my mother is uh, into integrative health and, you know, has a naturopathic retail center. So she turned me on to a lot of good supplements. And I made the choice to strictly do vegan and, you know, naturopathic type supplements. Uh, right now, uh, instead of, you know, spending so much money on all these different supplements, I have a superfood shake that I take in the mornings and primarily skip breakfast. And then I have a, you know, post-workout protein shake that's whey based and is also very good for muscle recovery. Um, and then I, you know, take basic multivitamins and fish oils and whatnot. Um, so I, I really condensed it down. And I mean, a lot of that stuff was great and an added bonus, but it's like, all these bells and whistles that I honestly really didn't need and, you know, was starting to get expensive. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend you check out the Boxing Club. I love their gym. I love their facility. In this video, you're going to see a little inside of my life in the gym and experience what it's like and what they have to offer there. And you'll see that it's, it's fun. Uh, the hardest part is finding the motivation and dedication to get inside the gym. But once you do, you start changing. Your attitude starts changing. Your dieting starts changing. You feel like a whole better person. And, you know, I, I just absolutely love working out there. Uh, the boxing club is great. And I highly recommend it. If anyone wants to go there, I have some free passes. Uh, complimentary of the boxing club. And you, you can even go in there and be a guest of mine for the day and work out or try one of the classes. And, you know, it's, just, it's really up to you. You know, people ask me all the time, how am I able to afford working out and having a trainer? Well, I'll ask you this. For example, a lot of my friends in my circle are from the music community. They love spending their times in bars and watching shows. Why don't you take a look at your bar tab at the end of one night and then come at me. <laughs> it's going to be a, around $100, especially if you're going out with your girlfriend or your wife or boyfriend or vice versa, right? So I spend $109 a month working out. And then if I decide to train with Kane, my boxing coach, that's optional. Regardless, I go in there anywhere from three to five times a week, a minimum of at least three times a week. I started out slow, and I'll tell you, this summer, all it took was not going for two weeks, and I fell back into my old ways. I got distracted with work and life, and, you know, I started making the same old excuses again, and then I just woke up one morning and said, I don't want to slip back into my old ways anymore, 
and start feeling lazy, unhealthy, and lethargic. And I got my ass back in the gym and I feel great. And I started out slow, mostly cross training, focusing on cardio, abs, and core, and then working my stamina and endurance levels back up. And, you know, I feel myself getting stronger every time I'm in that gym. And I feel great. I, you know, I put my, you know, Bluetooth earbuds in and just get in my own zone sometimes. You know, I'm sitting there looking like a crazy person, singing and having fun. And my motivation is not just to be healthy, fit, and, and you know, feel great. It's, I start thinking about how much... I want to be, you know, a, a stronger and, and better vocalist, a better singer, a better entertainer, a better front man. And that's my motivation. You know, I, sometimes I close my eyes when I'm in the gym and I imagine myself in front of a huge stage while I'm working out. But in order to be that kind of beast and a great entertainer, I have to be fit. The last thing I need to drop on, as far as my vices are concerned, because I occasionally drink, and, you know, most fighters and, and people in the athletic field do, you know, um, I'm not going to sit here and pass judgment, and I hope nobody does, by the fact that I'll admit that I smoke cigarettes and that I need to quit. And that is my vice. That is my one addiction. That is one last thing that I need to drop. And I'm very aware of that. And I know a lot of people can be snobby when it comes to health and fitness and pass judgment and be critical as far as that is concerned. I'm not like that. I never have been. I never will be. And shame on you guys if you are calling me a hypocrite for trying to be motivational and inspirational when it comes to health and fitness. We all have our vices. If you've never been addicted to anything, you know, like alcoholism, drugs, or cigarettes, then you want to understand how it feels. And I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. I can admit to my flaws. Can you? So anyways, check out the Boxing Club, and I have free passes if you want to come check out some of the group classes that they offer there. They offer a wide variety. Anyways, I'll catch you next time, and subscribe and like this video, or subscribe to my channel, like this video. Talk to you guys soon. I'm going to get back to enjoying my night. Check out the Boxing Club today. Quit making excuses why you won't go to the gym or that you can't afford it. If I can do it, so can you. So get off your lazy ass and get in the gym.